Hello everyone, welcome to day 8th of April Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Sanchit Dudeja, I am working as Software Developer 4 at Adobe and today I am going to present day 651th of Lead Code Daily Challenge. The question that we have in today is, find the kth largest element in a stream. Here in this question, we are given a stream of input numbers that are coming to us. What do we need to do? We need to identify the kth largest element in that stream. Here we need to implement two methods, one the constructor of the class which is kth largest. It accepts two parameters, the value k and the initial set of elements that you have in a form of an array. The second method that we need to write is the add method. So you append the newly new element that is being accepted as val here into your data structure that you have created for handling this question and then you need to identify the kth largest element that you have seen so far among all the elements that have been added into your data structure. So whenever you read such questions where, where we have to provide the kth largest element, there is only one option out which is heaps. So again we will be using the same concept over here as well. It is not a very difficult question and hence has been categorized as easy. So here they have provided us with few examples. So I will be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code 703, kth largest element in a stream. It's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. Also in case if you have any doubt with respect to this question or anything that you want to ask from me, please feel free to join the telegram group of Coding Decoded or the discord server of Coding Decoded. Both of them are present in the description below. So let's get started and let's take the same example that was specified in the question. We have the value of k as 3 and the initial array that is given to me is 4582. What we are interested in at each step, we are interested in identifying the kth largest element that of out of all the elements that we have seen or added into our data structure. What kind of data structure are we going to use? We will be using min heap for this purpose. So min heaps has a special property that whenever you pull out elements from it, it will always return you the lowest element that are present of all the elements added to this heap. So remember this point, this is the definition of min heap. And let's start the iteration, we'll go step by step. And let me just declare heap in this, uh, like this is my data structure and this this is where will I add elements onto the heap. The first element that we see is 4. So 4 gets added onto the heap. Also, so far the size of the heap has not exceeded the value of k. That means no eviction is to be done because we are interested in identifying k largest elements of all the elements that we have seen so far. Therefore, the pivot will only come when the size of the heap exceeds the value of k. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 5. And 5 happens to be greater than 4 as a result of which uh, the topmost element of the heap remains as 4. Let's proceed ahead. Next we have 8. So 8 gets added and the topmost element remains as 4. Next we see is 2. So what do we do? We add 2 and since 2 happens to be lower than 4, so the topmost element of the heap becomes 2. So this is not the topmost element, rather 2 becomes the topmost element or the peakmost element of the heap. Also we see that the size of the heap has exceeded the value of k. As a result of which we have to do eviction. And which element will be evicted? The lowest possible element should be evicted and min heap is responsible for taking care of it. As a result of which we simply delete 2 from the queue, not explicitly but implicitly by property of min heap. Because whenever we are pull out elements from the min heap, the lowest one will be evicted. So what has happened here? We are able to maintain the top 3 elements, the largest 3 elements of all the elements that we have seen so far and the subsequent topmost element becomes 4. So far so good. And if someone asks you what is the third largest element, you will say 4 after 4 elements have been added onto your heap, 4, 5, 8 and 2. Let's proceed ahead. Let me just change the color of pen and let's take green. Next we have 3. So let's go and add 3 to the heap. So 3 gets added and since 3 is lower than 4, the topmost element gets updated to 3. Again we see that the size of the heap has exceeded the value of 3 as a result of which we have to make eviction. Which one will be evicted? This one will be evicted, the lowest out of all the 4 elements. And with this we return, after the eviction we return the peakmost element that remains in, uh, in the heap which is 4. So this returns 4 stating that 4 is the third largest element of all the elements that you have seen so far. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is 5. So 5 gets added, 5 gets added over here and again we see that the size of the heap has exceeded the value of k 
as a result of which the peak most element gets evicted which is 4 so 4 is gone which is the next subsequent peak most element this it is 5 as a result of which here we have to return 5 because the peak most element gets updated to 5 let's proceed ahead next we see is 10 so 10 gets added let me just change the color of pen for better understanding 10 gets added and now we have four elements 10 8 5 5 since the size of the heap has exceeded the value of 3 what we should do we should do eviction we should pull out elements from the heap as a result of this this element is gone and the topmost element of the heap gets updated to 5 as a result of which we return 5 from here let's proceed ahead next we see is 9 so let's go and add 9 so let me just change the color of pen again and let's take so 9 gets added at this particular position we have 10 9 8 and 5 these are top 4 elements of the heap and since the size of the heap has exceeded the value of 3 we should do eviction so this elements get evicted and what is the subsequent element uh, that will be updated as the peak most element it is 8 so here we would return 8 let's proceed ahead next we see is 4 so now we have three elements 10 9 and 8 so let me just write it over here and we are interested in adding 4 so 4 gets added the peak most elements get updated to this position and since the size of the heap has exceeded the value of k we will do eviction 4 gets deleted uh, the topmost elements get updated to 8 as a result of which we should return 8 over here so this is in sync with our expectation 4 5 5 8 8 this is what the example also told us to do the time complexity of this approach is order of n log k because you are always maintaining the size of the heap as k. Now let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude the approach. I'll exactly follow the same steps as I have just told here. Here I have defined priority queue as my min heap and I have stored the value of k and uh, this in the constructor part this dot k happens to be equal to k. I initialize min heap to new priority queue and by default it will be initialized as min heap so if you don't pass in the comparator here it will be defined as min heap now what do i do i iterate over the nums array and i invoke add helper method that i'm going to declare very soon so with each iteration i'm adding all the elements into my min heap so let's see what this helper method is actually doing so it is adding new element onto the heap and in case the size of the heap exceeds the value of k we will call for eviction so as soon as the value of the size of the k is greater than uh, k the size of the heap is greater than k we call out for pulling out elements from the heap and once we are done with it we simply return whatever elements remains at the topmost element of the peak heap uh, i hope you understood this and the time complexity of this approach is order of log k because uh, the size of the heap will always remain as k this brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.